and so I was building a building and Patty was tap dancing in our kitchen. We designed a studio on the second floor for her tap dancing, so it's worked quite well. The chocolate making interferes with the tap dancing when I have my music blasting away. <laughs> But it's hard to tap dance to the Ramones. <laughs> First step is the ganache process, which is basically boiling cream and putting it into chopped up chocolate. And um, then that's allowed to rest, you know, 12, 24 hours. And um, then it's removed from its, from its bowl and I portion it out. and roll it into balls, and again I let it rest so it can shrink some more. Chocolate's been a recent thing for Neil, though he's always liked food and things that grow in food. Beer was his passion. Um, sourdough. Sourdough, yeah, yeast. Yeast was the, was the beer and the sourdough. There is a, there's a definite chocolate season both in because of temperatures in the summers in the summer chocolate is not easy to ship you know without it melting and uh, people's craving for chocolate reduces the styration that you get in it that where the red meets it and, and it breaks looks like basalt if you drive through eastern washington and you look at the basalt crystals they have that sort of stir, same striation that's the crystalline form that's the way it shatters and you should get an audible snap I uh, temper chocolate, which is basically a heating, cooling, heating process that gets the, process, the chocolate in a, uh, so that its finish will be bright and shiny and brittle. They're wonderful. They're different than you can find anywhere else, and they're excellent quality. You don't have to have a granite slab, but it is traditional. And for a lot of candy making, you need a heat sink. And so that's basically what the granite slab works as. It's, marble is the traditional stone for it. And it's usually three, maybe four inches thick. Well, Neil already has a reputation for being an excellent cook. He made beer. That's not cooking. He used to make beer and people loved his, um, the Raven Brewing Company, loved his beer. So then when they find out he's making chocolate, they, they want to try the chocolate too. And they're not disappointed. Then I, once I have my chocolate tempered, I dip the, uh, dip the ganache balls in it. Let it rest. Okay. Put a white chocolate drizzle on it. And uh, we're good to go. Less than perfect. But delicious. The the packaging of the of the chocolates is is pretty tedious because we put a lot of care to make it look as beautiful as it tastes. So so I help him with that and whenever he's getting under pressure I kinda go, Well, what can I do for you? And I'll maybe uh, do the foil for the hearts and but I don't I don't make the product. And there it is. Less there's a label that goes on the bottom depending on what, what goes in the box. It's your mojo word. That's a, it's a generic term it's anymore, but it, it's, it's African term originally, and I think it, it has to do with inner strength and spirituality. Got your mojo. It's good energy. But it, anymore, it's very generic. Oh.